Hello, in this video I'm going to be replacing my workbench top with this 3 quarter inch thick melamine panel. Check it out. So first step for me was to remove the old, this is the very first workbench I built in one of my very early on pieces of woodworking or woodworking projects. Uh, just some old 2x4s and actually left one of the pieces. It's an old fence plank that I had just sanded. Uh, it wasn't very smooth, there were gaps, uh, it worked for a while, uh, about nine months, and just got to the point where it was too messy, uh, the uneven surface was affecting some of the projects I was doing, so um, bought this eight foot by four foot piece of melamine, it's 27 or $28, um, and had them cut it down in the store. Uh, it actually didn't chip out too bad on the edges, so I'm surprised and happy about that, but I removed the old boards, I'm gonna put the melamine panel in, and countersink some screws to hold it tight. Uh, I've never done that, which is the real purpose of this video to show you what it looks like because I couldn't find any videos online of people countersinking directly into melamine. So uh, first step is gonna be to mark where my supports are so I know where to put the screws. I'm using a countersink drill bit um, that's going to drill the hole and the countersink at the same time. And I'm going to use some uh, two inch, uh, these are just regular wood screws, so let's see how that works. Wow, it actually worked pretty well. It seems like with this specific countersink bit I'm using, once I get past here is when it chips away. Maybe it's up here is when it chips out. So I'm going to try to not go that deep. Yeah, it looks pretty good.
fairly happy with the way it turned out, uh, but unexpected. You can tell the deeper I went with the countersink bit, and it could just be the cheap countersink bit I have, um, the more chip out there was. So that one's not bad. You can see that one's a little bit deeper. Chip out a little bit. This one's practically flush to the actual surface. And it looks pretty good. Um, same thing with this one. Flush to the surface of the top looks pretty good. And then as you get deeper, there's slight chip out there. And this one's the deepest. That's the first one I drilled. Um, so definitely not necessary to go that deep. And that's how the chip out happens. So I'd say don't do a very deep countersink. This is probably more appropriate where it should be anyway. I could probably plug that with something if I wanted, but I probably won't waste the time since it's just the workbench and I'm not trying to impress anyone. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you aren't already, please subscribe and God bless.